Welcome to React Studio chat app episode number two. In this episode, we are going to create the database uh, and the backend for the, for the chat app. We're going to use the Fire, uh, Google Firebase, Firebase database as a backend. It will be no SQL backend, and uh, React Studio has ready made bil uh, built plugin for it. So just go to the Firebase console and add a new project. We're going to call this chat demo. This I'm going to change the country to Finland. We're located in Finland. And create project. Okay, and then just click continue from here. And here we have all we need for the for for the chat app. So actually we're just going to create a database for it. Just click database and just click create database. And uh, actually it's better to start in test mode. So just allow basically anyone to write and read the database. You can change this later to something else, but in this, in this uh, testing and uh, development period, we can just use it in test mode. And here's the database. So I have, a, I have a document here. This is the structure uh, of our document database. So it will there will be like a collection called chat rooms and each chat room will have a document called and, and this document will have a chat room name and then it will have a collection called messages and uh, we're going to store the messages inside the chat room document. You could do this as a separate collection as well and just make a query for each chat room but in this this case we're going to use this kind of nested nested collection for messages. So let's start building the documents. We need at least one document for for the React Studio so that we can download the download the data to the data sheets and start actually building building the app. So just click add collection we'll call this chat rooms and next and it will have a chat room name and add some kind of value for it. It will be and then it will have a and just click then just click save. And here we have our first first document and first chat room and we need the collection for it so just click collection and this collection id would be messages like this and document id would be like that and then the first first uh, field for the message would be document. Uh, sorry, it would be yeah, it would be document key, then me message body and sender username and timestamp. So document key. This is just for for storing the actually the ID 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 for the document. Uh, we don't we that is not necessary, but we will just add it here. And then we have a message body this will this will contain the actually the message i will just create one here and then sender username and this is obviously the username for the sender John Doe. and lastly Timestamp. I could just copy Linux timestamp from there. 
and hit save. And here we have the first message for the for the uh, messages collection. Basically, the backend is now the database is now ready, and we can just uh, add it add it to the uh, add the plugin to the React Studio project and start actually building the soft building the app. So we start that in the next episode. Thank you for watching.